If you've spent any time around me at all, online or off, then you probably know what a numbers nerd I am. Honestly, I just love math and I'm not ashamed to say so. I love doing experiments and then analyzing the data of the experiment to figure out why I got the results that I did. Now, when it comes to having made my first million dollars, of course, there were a whole lot of things that I did that went into earning that money. Please tell me. But something I've been thinking about lately is the 80-20 principle and how that means that out of all those things I did, only 20% of them earned me 80% of that money or contributed to 80% of that success. If you're not familiar with the 80-20 principle, it's essentially an observed law of nature that says that typically 80% of results come from 20% of the efforts. Let me say that again. 80% of your results come from 20% of the efforts you put in. And also, just incidentally, the inverse of that is true as well, meaning that 80% of the effort that you put in contributes only 20% of the results. Recently, Forbes shared some examples of how this plays out in the real world. Typically, only 20% of manufacturers supply about 80% of the demand. 20% of sales reps normally generate about 80% of the sales. And 20% of customers account for about 80% of most businesses' profits. And then just for fun, here are a few non-business ones. Most people spend about 80% of their time in about 20% of their house. If you use cookbooks to make dinner, then 80% of the meals that you cook out of those cookbooks probably come from 20% or even less of the cookbooks. And then for most of us, 80% of what we wear is just 20% of our wardrobes. And so thinking about this left me wondering, what were those 20% of the efforts that made 80% of the results of earning my first million? And that's what I'm gonna share with you in today's video. Okay, so you know what would be an awesome way to make a lot of money? If you built a gym and then you marketed that gym and you got a whole bunch of members who were paying you dues every single month. There's just one problem. That would be really expensive, right? You would have to have a ton of capital to make that happen. So it's probably kind of out of the question right now as far as a strategy to make a million dollars. But what if I told you there was a way that you could use this exact same business model to make a ton of money without having to have that huge expense of actually building the gym? Tell me your secrets. Well, that's basically what a membership site is, a membership website. It's a website where people pay to be a member so that they have access to your content. And here's the thing, creating a website and creating the content for that website is way easier and way cheaper than building something physical like a gym. Just like with a gym, you're giving people a place they can access for a fee so that they can exercise. It's just, this is to exercise their minds instead of to exercise their bodies. Bodies. And a membership site like this is exactly how I earned a very large part of my first million dollars. In fact, over half of it. If you want to hear the whole story of how I set up my membership site and got my first members and turned it into a $10,000 a month revenue stream, then check out that video right there that I made a few weeks ago. Most businesses make most of their money by selling products, but typically they have to go through an expensive and complex and time consuming manufacturing process for for every single unit that they want to create and sell. Now, online courses, on the other hand, they overcome a lot of this problem. You can create an online course one time and then you can sell it to literally thousands of people without having to ever manufacture it again. However, you will have to sell it over and over again, making that income not passive, unless you set up some sort of automated process to sell it as well. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes, but right now I'm focused on the product, Evergreen Courses, online Evergreen Courses. They earned me a significant amount of that first million dollars. And I have to say though, that at first they were not successful. I created several courses and tried to sell them and did not sell a single unit. So here are three things that I changed that made these courses start making me a whole lot more money. First, I beta tested a bunch of different ideas until I found a winner, until I found a course idea that there was actually demand for. 
Second, I realized that people couldn't buy my courses if they'd never even heard of my courses or heard of me. And so I focused on getting more visibility to generate more leads to actually sell to. And then third is I built that sales process. Again, we'll talk more about that in a few minutes, but you can't sell anything, courses or any other sort of product, unless you have some sort of working sales process that does that. And if you really wanna go deep on that part of things, then there's a video up there in the corner that breaks down one of my most profitable funnels. I go behind the scenes, I show you how the whole thing works. So if you wanna kind of spy on one of my funnels, then that's the video for you. There's this principle in marketing that is completely wrong. And it goes like this, build a better mousetrap and the world will beat its path to your door. And so basically what this means is if you make something awesome enough and something that people want, and need, then people will seek you out, people will find it, and they will buy it from you. And that's just not the case. There is so much noise in the world today that people are really distracted and they have a lot of trouble finding things that they want, need, and even are looking for. And if they don't know your product exists, they probably won't even be looking for it. So in order to make money, you have to somehow market whatever you are selling. And that was, of course, the case for my first million dollars. In order to sell that membership site, in order to sell those evergreen courses, I had to have some sort of sales vehicle. I had to have some sort of method of telling people about those things. And one of the main strategies I used was email marketing. There are people who say email marketing is dead, but it's just not true. I've been using email marketing for the last five years or so, and that entire time, my open rates have not gotten any worse. In fact, they're at an all-time high currently. My click-through rates have been great, and I've continued to make sales using email marketing. If you're looking for a crash course on how to start your own online business and turn it into a profitable success, then just head to gillianperkins.com slash 101. I have a free course called Small Business 101 that I would love to give you access to if you are an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur and you want to learn the basics. Again, that's gillianperkins.com slash 101 and the course is completely free. Webinars have been one of the main ways I have sold my products and they have earned me hundreds of thousands of dollars. But I have to say that my first experiences with webinars were not great. Honestly, I encountered some really slimy webinars. If you've been there, you know where people were selling really hard, where they were being very manipulative, where they were charging ridiculously absorbent prices. Make them an offer they can't refuse. For digital products products, which is just not necessary. And I got sucked in really fast because I wanted what they were selling. I wanted the dream they were selling and I was really naive. So when it came time to finally sell my products, I knew two things. One, I knew that webinars work. I knew that they had gotten me to hand over hard earned money, right? They were working well for persuading me to buy. But I also knew that I did not want to have anything to do with these very manipulative selling tactics and pressuring people to buy. So I wondered if there was a better way. And sure enough, there is, because it turns out if someone has a problem and you help them start to solve their problem and you prove that you know how to solve the rest of their problem, then they are more than happy to hire you or to purchase your product to solve their problem. And you don't have to be manipulative about it. You just have to help them a little and then give them the opportunity to buy a product that will help them even more, help them finish solving their problem. And that has been my guiding philosophy with my webinars, to use common sense, to treat people like humans, to give them some help for free so that they want even more of my help. I mean, imagine this scenario. You've got some sort of problem, you tell your friend about it, and they happen to have read a book recently that deals with exactly that issue. So they tell you a little bit about what the book is about and some things they learned from it, and you find those ideas helpful. So what do you do? Well, you go out there and you buy the book because you want the rest of the package. You want the rest of the information. You want to figure out how to completely solve your problem. And you don't begrudge your friend or feel like your friend was a 
slimy salesman just because they told you about this book that could help you. We love it when people clue us in on products that can help us. And I wanna do that with any sort of webinar or sales presentation I ever do. I just wanna tell people about resources that they could use to solve their problems. Now, sales systems like these, they're like a vehicle that you could drive to earning your first million dollars. But here's the thing, they only work if you have fuel in the vehicle. If not, they're not gonna take you anywhere. So you have to figure out a way to put the fuel in the vehicle. And with a sales system, what that looks like is sending traffic and leads into your sales funnel so that your sales funnel can convert that traffic and those leads into sales and into cash that you're earning. Now, for me, the strategy that took me to a million dollars and beyond was YouTube. Making videos here on YouTube has allowed me to get in front of 30 million plus people and a large number of those people have ended up becoming leads for my business and then getting converted into customers, which means that I made money. I've tried plenty of other strategies, but YouTube has been the one that's proven to work the best for me. And just as a nice little bonus, YouTube also pays me directly for the ads that run on my videos, in addition to the money that I make from the leads that I attract with videos and they pay me pretty well to the tune of about a hundred thousand dollars a year which never hurts Thank you so much for being here for today's video. If you wanna support my channel, then you can do so by subscribing, which is also gonna help you out by giving you access to my next video and the next video after that and after that, because I post new videos like this every single week. And if you're already subscribed, first of all, thank you so much. And second, you can support the channel even a little bit more by turning that like button down below blue, which will give this video a little boost in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking around all the way to the end. I love you. I hope you're having an amazing week and I'll be back again next week with another one.